Fox 43's James Corrigan is live with Dave McCormick's camp in Pittsburgh with some of the key things to watch in this race. James. Maybe throughout the night, we have been watching just how closely Dave McCormick has been running with Donald Trump throughout the early portions of the night. Dave McCormick has been running neck and neck with the former president. But now that more election day votes are coming in, we are starting to see a little bit of a drop from McCormick's tally to Trump's. McCormick at the moment running a little bit more than a point behind the former president. And it should be said that that is, that is significantly less than many of the polls had predicted he would run behind Trump. And that, in large part, it seems has to do with the performances of third-party candidates. Take a look at John Thomas, the libertarian candidate, with 1.2% of the vote. That is more than double the amount that the libertarian candidate for president, Chase Oliver, has received here tonight. That, in all likelihood, largely going away from McCormick, those votes, and towards the libertarian candidate. So, at the moment, this is anybody's race. This is looking like one of the closest races in the entire country in a race that could have a potential big impact on the control of the United States Senate. Of course, Bob Casey, a seasoned incumbent, multi-time, multi-term incumbent, of course, a famous name, the son of the former governor, Dave McCormick, the Army veteran, the Gulf War veteran who ran for governor back in 2022 did not get out of the primary so this is a very very fascinating race and the people here at the fairmont in pittsburgh are, re are riveted at the moment they're watching the returns they're being entertained by live bands and they're waiting the man of the hour dave mccormick to come out which we expect he will do at some point in all likelihood he will not declare victory because it doesn't seem like anybody's going to be able to declare victory tonight barring a massive swing of some some sort. This race remains dead even right now and it could be a while before we find out the winner.